Average Canadian uses about 70 gallons of water a day. So we're growing an entire farm, we're using an entire farm on you know less than a half, maybe a third of the uh, amount of water as a single Canadian would, would use in, the, in a day. We're producing a little more than an acre worth of uh, farmland inside of 700 square feet, saving about 3 million litres worth of water. We've knocked our transportation down about 99% versus traditional ag, uh, food waste about 90% uh, versus the traditional supply chain, and completely eliminated the use of pesticides and, and chemical sprays. So originally, myself and, and two partners, uh, we, we came out of the energy industry. We looked at agriculture as like a sore thumb as something that could use a lot of help. So we went looking at what was going on in greenhouses and different types of vertical farms. And uh, it stood out pretty early on that we needed to really focus on, on using the automation and some of the uh, operational practices used in more efficient industries, you know, energy, auto and implement those into what was going on in the indoor farm space. So uh, we developed our own hardware, software and, and interface from the, from the ground up. There's really two ways to find water savings. The first is using a closed loop hydroponic system, which, hey, greenhouses do it as well. You know, lots of different uh, uh, systems and, and designs can do that. The idea there is basically we're recirculating water. We can do that for extended periods of time. Uh, without with, on the same water source. So that's step one. Step two, as we're growing the plants in these controlled environments, they're producing a tremendous amount of water vapors, transpiration proportion of the plants. And what we're doing, because we're in, in the, the sealed environment, is we're able to take that hot, wet air that's being produced and figure out the dew point of that air. So uh, when the air passes up through our HVAC system, we cool the air right to that specific dew point the water condenses, falls out of the air, so it turns into a liquid, falls out of the air. We'll re-inject that water back into our, our process, back into our nutrients. And for us, that water savings is equates to about 90% of all the water we use in our facility. So uh, we'll, we're growing, you know, today there's probably close to 15 to 18,000 plants in the facility and uh, we're growing it for less than a gallon of water an hour uh, through that, you know, technology and approach. The industry is still pretty young. Now investment is piling in. Obviously the COVID uh, pandemic has accelerated the need for food security. You know, one of the big upsides to technologies like this is being able to produce food year round at a very high quality. And, uh, and that's growing in demand. So yes, I think the industry is going to grow. The technology is advancing quickly too. So it's opening up a wider range of, of types of crops that are suitable for these indoor environments. So in terms of our water usage, which was one of the primary focuses we had going into our design, basically, you know, if you, if you think about it, we're, we're using about 95 to 98% less water. 